この煉獄の赤き炎闘が手を伸ばし抱き止めた大丈夫だねビリアビガシ I'll do that over. Alright, good afternoon guys. Today we are at Cine Leisure. Been a while since we since we came here. The last time I think is during the monster curry that season. Okay, but anyways, uh, we're here. We're here to do this ramen. Uh, it's a ramen that will catch fire. Yeah, I, I don't know, it sounds a bit weird. But it's a ramen that they pour some sort of oil on it, and then it will catch fire, and will, the fire will like burn up. Like fire breathing on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for the place. Apparently it's all the way up. Yeah, I know that I've I seen some videos of that place. The interior looks very nice. We go there and see how it's gonna be like the perfect food to eat in this kind of weather. Okay, so I'm very, I've been quite poor in all today, but uh, the ramen is gonna set my heart on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Rengoku. Alright, so we are here at this place. Made it here. Beautiful weather for eating ramen. So uh, today, okay. So I, I don't know how big is one bowl. I cannot. Okay, initially I actually told the PR that I want to bring my giant bowl and get them to fill up my giant bowl and light it on fire. But uh, it's not possible. They say it's a hazard. Yeah, this is why we have been doing multiples, multiple regular bowls. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna experience this whole fire thing and yeah, let's see how it goes. I wanna see how, I really wanna taste how smoky this ramen is after it's light, it's like, you know, it's on fire and everything. Okay, so let's go in. My eyebrow's gone. Yeah, it's not that important. Yeah, they play some music before I have to finish it. Pick up another, pick up another, pick up, pick up, okay, no eating, no eating, open the mask, big mask, look up, okay, good, uh, last one, okay, 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 so, um, we got six bowls, we order like, we decided to order six bowls first, and then we add on accordingly, because I don't know like, the weight and all, and also, we don't want everything to become very, like, very soggy and all, 
Okay, you guys always want to see before and after of my belly, right? So today I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is before. This is the before, okay? Okay? I'll show you guys the after when I'm done with all the, all, all the bows. Alright, so I've got three bows in front of me. We're just gonna order accordingly. Okay, let's let's start with this bow because just, just this one, right? Just now took the Instagram picture. Right? I just want a bit. No, 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 not the one that I really want. But. Holy <laughs> never mind, never mind. Later, I think I'll wait. Today, it's men versus green onion. <laughs> it's a lot of green onions. <laughs> smoky, yo. very smoky. Initially, I thought that the shoyu broth, right, it's gonna be very, very salty. It's actually quite okay. I thought that it's gonna be sukumen level, but it's not. It's not. Very good flavor. Umai. Oh, what? How to say? Umai. Umai. Okay, I'm going to slow down a little bit because uh, Mervyn said they're still prepping the other four bowls. So I'm uh, just going to slow down a little bit and talk to you guys a little bit more about this ramen. Okay, there's not a lot of components in there. There is just a whole bunch of green onion and then the oil they use is actually the nagi oil, which is the green onion oil. Nagi, nagi oil. <laughs> nagi oil. So they they heat the oil up to a super high heat and the oil on that's why they you know that's why it's on fire. And if you guys were to come here and try, don't don't be too close to the fire. Because it, it, it is really a lot of heat right there. The physical temperature is oh my god. I realized one thing about ramen, right? No matter how cold am I, or like in what kind of climate, right? You'll still be sweating. Heat of the soup, breath of the walk. <laughs> walk okay. First stop. Okay, so my initial idea was to do a giant bowl, but uh, maybe 10 to 15 servings. But, okay, but. It's, it's, it's really not possible to lie out that bowl and I really understand why because the fire is really very big and the, if they were to light my giant bowl on fire it's really, I, I'm not sure, it's potentially a fire hazard Okay, so we're waiting for the more bowls to come Okay, because, uh, a bit of a delay because they need to lie out on fire again every single time so yeah, I, I, I kind of like, I don't really like the weight because like when I'm eating right, when, whenever there's a pause in between, it, it sort of disrupts my eating rhythm. Yeah, I should be ignoring it. But, but it's okay, it's okay. I mean, today we're here and, you know, this is a new place, so I understand. And, and the chef, they put in a lot of effort, like to, the boss is there to actually light up the thing. Light my heart on fire. Oh no, no, good. Okay, so we, we went ahead and uh, we, we went ahead with I think three bowls, three bowls by three bowls by three bowls. Uh, so I think that the initial order was six bowls first. So uh, the ramen was really, okay, so the fire is not only for aesthetic purposes, it gives it a nice smoky flavor and it really brings out that, that green onion flavor in it. 
Okay, so I went with the Shoyu broth, which is their most iconic ones. I know some of you guys are going to ask like, oh, why did I not drink all that broth? Okay, uh, reason being because it's Shoyu broth. Okay, usually for Tonkutsu broth, I would drink all that soup. But uh, for Shoyu and Miso, I tend to not drink, not finish up the broth because it's, it's a bit on the salty side. You guys see most of my ramen video, I, I try to finish all that broth, but, you, uh, but for Shoyu, or like the, like the sukumen video, if the broth is really a little bit too salty, I tend to uh, not drink all that broth for obvious reason. I don't want to wake up the next day looking like a balloon. All right, and this ramen is like the best thing for me to eat right now because of the fact that I just started my invisible Zenyam braces treatment and uh, my teeth is like uh, still very sore. So you guys can see I'm like, I'm like swallowing the ramen like very quickly, like swallowing the ramen whole without much chewing because his teeth is still very sore. This is where I'll keep 15. I'm not even kidding. Really? Do I need 15? I don't know. I can do more. You can wait for the other three and see how it feels. I think you might as well just get 20 and then, then yeah, the rest you'll eat. The chef come out and pour the oil on me. How is it? How is it good? Matcha Oishi. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Now they are turned to look at me. Man. I feel, I feel very stressed again. <laughs> technique, technique to, you know, get some of the heat out. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too much about this treatment because I just started. I'll talk more in the next video or maybe the, the video after. But for those that are interested in doing invisible braces, uh, there is a huge promo going on from now until if you guys sign up before 15 december uh there is like 300 dollars off or something so check out the link down i link them down in the description already okay so go ahead enjoy the rest of the video i'll talk to you guys in the end okay i'm gonna get another two more bowls and we're gonna call it a day because I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it really. Like, even though you guys see, right, like, there's still soup left, but when I'm eating a ramen, I'm actually drinking a lot of broth already. Oh, so, yeah, two more bowls and that's it. I'm still waiting for my ramen. You get a candle? Oh, it tastes like the, tastes like a Starbucks drink. Actually, I want to drink finish the whole thing. I order one more, I order one more. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Thank you very much. Can we? A fake hero joy contest. Come on, come on. Okay. 
Alright, so we're done with all that ramen. 15 bowls. I didn't finish all that soup. Uh, one reason is because it's like... It's a lot of sodium, which show you bro. So if you want to chuck all that soup, right, it's a lot of sodium. And I think while eating all that, all that noodle, I already, already consumed quite a bit of broth already. Okay, so uh, this ramen, right, I think the one I, the one I had is show you. So there are, there are a few more variations. There's like the tonkatsu one and a vegetarian one, which I I just wanted to show you. I just keep keep things simple. What we've all show you, pretty good. Um, the taste of the green onion is very very prominent. Uh, and then yeah, after that, after they put all that fire, that that torch, the fire, the torching thing, is not only for aesthetic purposes. Uh, it's, it really gives it a smoky flavor. Okay, so 15 bowls. Still feeling pretty okay, uh, not to the point I'm going to die, probably because I didn't consume too much of broth. Alright, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright, so if you guys are interested in this place at Sydney Leisure, so go all the way up until the theatre that level, and then you should be able to find this place. Okay, so that's it. Uh, remember to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, for those that already subscribed, remember to hit the bell notification icon so you'll not miss anything. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. People, the people who eat books are here as well. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs>